Welcome to the Hunter Classic. I've recently been asked a lot of questions. I've noticed a lot of new players are coming to the game that have never played before. A lot of people keep asking the same questions about how do you play, how do you make money, what's the easiest ways to farm so you can buy new guns, etc. So I figured I would make a quick video just to go over the basics of how to take the most out of this game without spending any real money on it. Uh, how to do your missions, easy places to farm, find animals, how to play and be successful and enjoy the game. So I'm going to throw a little bit of information at you. Um, hopefully it's not too much. Hopefully I don't uh, forget anything or skip over anything. If I do, just leave a, you know, questions in the comment section and I'll try to respond back to everyone or even make another video if needed. So, <clears throat> just to go over the basics, when you first start playing the game, you're going to have the you're going to end up with a 243 rifle and a 12 gauge single shot shotgun. Those are your two basic weapons. The first thing you're going to want to do is get familiar with the web page. This is the website. You're going to want to learn how to look up your guns, whichever gun you happen to buy or have. For example, with the 243, you'll end up going back and forth to this web page quite a lot until you memorize everything. But when you pull up the stores page and you go to your weapons, you go to the rifles, you go to the gun that you have, you can easily look at this list and it'll tell you all the animals that that particular gun or ammo, is actually based on the ammunition, is legal to kill, such as mule deer, uh, roe elk, or roe deer, you know, all these different animals that that particular gun is used for, and also list all the different scopes that that rifle is allowed to use. Same thing with your shotguns, has all the available shotguns, and you just go down the list, find the one that you have, and it tells you all the species and all the different types of ammo that are legal for that gun, as well as the attachments and the type of ammo that you can buy for it. Some guns uh, have multiple types of ammo that they can use. For example, the 17 HMR can use two different types of ammunition. 17 HMR, all the available scopes that you can buy for this weapon, what it looks like, how much it costs, and the different types of ammo, the high velocity and the regular. And it tells the different species that each ammo is legal to use. That's important. If you use the wrong ammunition on an animal, you won't get credit for it. When you go to claim the animal, it'll be disqualified, you won't get paid. So that's the first thing that you need to learn. Is this just not about just going out and killing whatever you can get your eyes on with whatever gun you have. You have to use the right legal weapon for that particular animal. The next thing you want to learn is your missions page. This is where you make all your money. Uh, for example, you'll go through your mission list and just activate all of them. Okay, whatever you have available, just activate everything. Sorry if you're getting any kind of static background noise. I don't know what it's called. It's something with my microphone. The first mission you're going to end up doing is your whitetail mission. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of missions in here, but most of them you can just do with the starting equipment that you have. Locate three whitetail, get 100 GMs. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. You spot one, you look through your binoculars, you just see it, it highlights, it tells you what's, you know, the gender, the score, the weight estimate, depending on your skill level. It tells you all that when you spot an animal. And you just go down the list and you do these missions. If you do all the whitetail missions, for example, it comes out to a total of 17,000 GMs. And this is the money that you'll use to buy things. You Toward the end of this particular mission tree, whitetails, you'll end up needing to use certain types of guns that you don't yet have. You, you can acquire those guns later on as you gain the money. But first, you're just trying to get the money up get your basic equipment. For starting equipment, I always suggest pump shotgun, a bow and arrow, and you're pretty much covered for almost every species. That's going to get you through most of your missions. You're going to need a bow and arrow just to get rid of the does. 
they always come in they always get in your way when you're trying to call in a buck or something you just got to get rid of them quietly so you don't scare everything away that's best thing to have Parker Python with the rangefinder it's the easiest scope to use their easiest bow to use later on you can get the better ones but just for example with this mission you go through just keep doing them all they're very very simple the the further down into the missions you get the more you get paid for them I always do whitetail really quickly I can get it all done within an hour you'll start getting see this one you need to shoot with buckshot you can still do that with a free weapon buckshot ammo you can still do that with the shotgun the single shot shotgun it's a little bit you know using rifles to kill animals obviously it's noisy it spooks everything within a 200 some odd meter radius so you're only going to get one shot then you're going to have to move to a new area or wait until they calm back down and come back in but you know again if you're walking around the map you can easily do this most of these missions are very simple they're does does are everywhere um, toward the end you'll need a 44 mag revolver the only reason you're going to end up buying this gun is to do missions with it. there's a lot of missions that do require the 44 mag so you're going to end up buying it just to do the missions with so you can get the money you make your money back later on <clears throat> and this one for example 3800 You'll need all these rifles, so you're not going to be able to do this in mission for quite a while until you've been able to save up for all these different guns. Once you have them all, you'll just do this mission over and over again. What I do to make most of my money, I make twenty, thirty thousand a day when I play, is I knock out the whitetail mission within an hour or two. Same thing with the mule deer mission, just knock it out within a couple of hours. And then whatever else happens to come by, so for example, coyotes, pheasants, feral hog, all those all those animals are right there on Logger's Point. You can get most of these missions done very simple with just the weapons that you have. Go through your mission list, do whatever missions you can with the weapons that you have. Very easy to do on the different maps. Camo is not very important when you're using a rifle. It comes into play more when you're using bow and arrows and you're trying to get up close. When you're in a when you're in a hunting tower or a tree stand, camo doesn't really have an effect. Doesn't really bother you. You don't have to have good camo when you're in one of those. It's only when you're on the ground and you're trying to get the animals to come in very close to you. Same thing with scent reduction and all that. It's just designed to, for you to spend money on. The information's not really out there until you've experienced it firsthand. Most of it's useless until you get on the ground and you're trying to call them in very close uh, but back to the missions easiest way to make money knock out the easiest missions that you can do with the weapons that you have once you hit about 20 30 thousand which you can easily do in a day you just come back up here to the store you go down to services and you hit the mission reset it costs 13,600 so you know for example I made 20,000 today I buy this, reset all those missions back to you know brand new, so I can do them over again. You keep the remainder and keep going through the easiest missions that you can do with the weapons and the equipment that you have until that money stacks up. It's very very simple, and you can knock them out very very quickly. You're also getting paid you know per animal that you kill, so you make 50 to 100 GMs per animal that you kill, and that all, it all adds up very quickly. So, I mean, like I said, I make easy 20 to 30,000 GMs in a couple of hour period. From that, I'm able to buy all the equipment that I need. Just knock it out. It's really easy to do once you understand the basics of how to do it. If you have any real questions on what missions are which, you come here to the hunter.fandom.com slash wikis. Or just Google search for the Hunter Wiki. And it'll come right up. It'll show you everything you need to know. Um... On here, there's you know you go through the missions. They'll show you a list of every mission, what needs to be done, what equipment that you're going to need, uh, how much you get paid, and even some hints and tips from the community over the years that have added to the forum to show you you know what you need for each one. Uh, same with the goes with the animals. It shows you all the animals, all the different rares, color variations for each type of animal that you could find. These are all just for your personal collection, bragging rights. There's nothing special about, say, for example, an albino white tail. 
doesn't pay you more than a regular whitetail. It's just for bragging rights. It's a rare animal. It's hard to find. So you'll want to, you know, people go after them just like the big trophy animals. Uh, Logger's Point is going to be your home away from home when you first start. This is the map that you're going to play on the most. Everybody's very familiar with Logger's Point. From my experience, I seem to find the the best area to hunt whitetail and get good regular farm, you know, consistent amount of areas is right around in here. I really enjoy this spot. You can see that's why I have my tent set up here. There's already a tower in this spot. You, the reason I have two towers set up in this, or the two tents set up this way is when I first join the game, I'll spawn in the, into this tent. And then I will fast travel to this tent. That means when I spawn here, wherever you spawn, whether it's at a lodge or a tent, when the server first begins, if you're hosting the server or you're hosting the single player game, there will be no animals within 200, 250 meters of your location. So, when I spawn here, there are no animals around me. And then I fast travel to this location. This whole field area will be populated with animals. And it allows me to get into a fresh spot, a bunch of fresh animals. I can see everything that's around me, shoot them, get, my, get what I need for that mission, shut the server down, restart it, do it again. It costs you a lot with camping supplies, but once you start raking in the money and you have the tents and you have the towers and all that, it gets even faster and faster. Uh, when you first start out, obviously, you're going to go on foot. Mule deer, I found this is a good little area for mule deer, especially up here in the, you know, in the north. you also find a lot of mule deer up here, but mule deer, whitetail, you're going to find them everywhere. But I do seem to notice that they kind of stick in the darker areas is where you're going to find the mule deer more, and then whitetail are more in the, you know, the lighter colored areas. Uh, bobcats, pheasants, easy to find them in the fields. Logger's Point is packed full of fields, so you're going to find a lot of animals out here. Now I'll take you out for an example, just to show you the area. I'm sure you're familiar with it, but... You don't need all this equipment, like the, the Jeeps and the trucks and the you know, all the fancy guns, you don't need all of it right away. You will eventually get it just to have something to do because you're going to want to play with it. So these are your mission notifications in the top left-hand corner. Every time you complete a task for a mission, it lets you know. So you can kind of keep track, but you're going to alt-tab back and forth just to, you know, keep track of everything. Alright, that was a mule deer. So I... I don't need any mule deer now. I've finished my mission, but we'll go check him out. The German pointer is another item that you're going to want to put on your top list to get as soon as possible. They take a little while to level up. Once they hit their mid-40s, they're very, very useful dogs. What their main purpose is, is essentially they act like a radar system. They will detect everything... At his current level, he will detect every deer up to 200 meters away from me. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you see that he's already detected that deer that just called. If that deer had not called, I wouldn't know it was there. With him, I know it's over there. So all I have to do is kind of keep an eye on him and find out which direction he's going in. So I know where the deer is coming from. <clears throat> Once you get accustomed to using the dog, finding the animals and hunting the animals that you need for your missions becomes very quick and very easy. So I don't have to just walk around and randomly make calls and hope that something comes in because as soon as you make a call, the animal slows down. It takes forever to walk into you, especially the bigger ones. The bigger ones, the bigger they are, the slower they walk. So dog helps you find out where he's at. You're GPS hunter mate is going to give you an idea of the direction. You know what's out there, how far away he is once he makes a call. Once you feel like you're getting close to him is when you want to stop. Now the dog will take it, go all the way up to him to about 40 meters away at his current level. And he will point right at that animal. But I don't want to follow the dog because obviously if I follow him I might spook the animal and you know it's going to run away. 
So what I'm going to do is kind of set myself up and stage myself in a position that's going to be more beneficial to me to make the shot that I want. Mule deer. He's right there ahead of us. So I'm going to go up here just a little way. I don't have any good camo on at the moment. So I don't want to be trying to get too close to him. Get up here. The rabbit's great way to train your dog, especially the European rabbits. You just find a nest and you sit there all day and just train him up and level him very quickly. See, I can see him when I hold down the V. I can see him crawling down the hill, so I know the dog, the deer is still a good distance away. I don't have to worry about spooking him too much right now. Unless I spook another animal which runs in his direction and then scares him. So I'm going to set myself up right here. The dog's right there, pointing at the deer. So I know exactly where he's at now. So now, I'm going to make my call. And I'm going to pull out the weapon that I'm going to use to shoot him with. I'm a big fan of the 9.3x74R. It is, in my opinion, one of the best guns in the game, if not the best gun in the game. Another great one is the Pulsar compound bow. It's very powerful, very strong, 70 pounds, very quick. It does not have the auto aim or the the rangefinder built in, but after a while you learn you don't need it. Once you have all the other equipment. So I saw the deer, it was a mule deer down there <clears throat> at the bottom of that hill. So I'm just trying to get to myself in a position to see him. You can still see the dog, he's behind the tree. There's the mule deer. He's pretty small. But now if this is for a mission, that's all I need. And there we go. By firing my weapon, I've spooked everything in, in the distance. You see them all running. He looked like a pretty good one. 200 meters that way. They're going to spook for about 150 to 200 meters and just run away. I know the direction that they're going. If I wanted to follow them, it's not that hard to follow. They ran this way. They're probably going to stop about 200 meters out, so they'll be around here somewhere. They're always, almost always run in a straight line away from you. So I know I can just put the dog back on them and track them down, follow them, get them done for the next mission. Where did that animal, where did that thing go? I did kill him, didn't I? Did the bullet clip on the, oh, there he is, okay. See, just a nice little small deer. Score 137. Probably made around 50 or 60 GM. I disabled the pop up on there. That was my fault. I forgot about it. But that's all it really takes. You just pay attention to your missions, see which ones you need to get done, and that's it. You just go through, shoot whatever particular animals that you have to shoot for the mission, and get the missions done, get the reward bonus reset them start over again definitely want to invest in the you know into the german pointer and the scent hound the scent hound is very useful later on if you have you know especially if you're bow hunting and you're going to send off a lot of wounded animals and you're going to have to do a lot of tracking and difficult terrain scent hound, the scent hound can really help you out if you're really big on bird hunting ducks geese the retriever is almost is almost ne necessary to have it It'll save you so much time running around retrieving your animals. Uh, as far as just shooting the animals to farm up money, magpies and predator animals such as bobcat, lynx, bear, those all seem to pay the most. Uh, hunting predators for money, not going to really be very rewarding just simply because they're harder to come across. Magpies, Canadian geese, and ducks you'll kill a lot more of them in a shorter amount of time therefore you'll make more money 
but the best that I've ever really been able to achieve, and I kill 50 to 100 each session, is around 1,000, maybe 2,000 GM in an hour or so, a couple hours. That's not as, it doesn't pay off nearly as much as just doing the, you know, like the whitetail, the mule deer missions, bison, moose on white rim. Those missions you can knock out very, very quickly and just get them done and get paid and reset them and start over again. I mean, it, it's really very simple to do. So I sent my dog out now. He's going to go and track down the deer that we spooked. Slow walker. Once he gets on the scent, he's already on the scent, which means they're within 160 meters to 200 meters. So he'll find them. And while he's doing that, we'll go back over to the webpage. The first weapon I would suggest you get, if you can afford it, or once you can afford it, and they're one of the more expensive weapons, is going to be either the 9.3 by 74 art over under break action rifle with its scope. The reason I suggest this is because it's very forgiving as far as shot placement. You can shoot them in the guts, the chest, the legs, the face, the head, anywhere, and they're pretty much going to die. It bleeds out extra just kind of like a bow. The bow and arrow does. It causes bleed damage. And you can shoot everything from coyotes all the way up to water buffalo. I mean, the species list on this thing is very, very impressive. It's a good, solid, flat shooter all the way up to 250 meters, so you can have no problem with range. Get the 5.5 by 22 by 56 scope and you're good to go. You can shoot everything that you see. <clears throat> as far as the bow and arrows, the best bow to have would be either the pulser or the compound, or the reverse draw crossbow. Those are the two strongest bows in the game, crossbow and compound bow respectively. Uh, you will have a lot of missions for compound bows, you'll have some missions for crossbows, and you'll have a whole mission set for the Parker Python. So again, they, they set these missions up to encourage you to buy all the different weapons when it was paying with actual money. Now that it's free, you can just acquire them as you need them, or as you want to get these more missions done, the more missions you can get done, the faster. You just, you end up achieving them. But I always suggest to new players get either the Pulsar or the python one of those two bows and you're you have to have a bow in this game it's just necessary the python is one of the easiest to use 60 pounds it's pretty quiet and has that range finder scope that tells you where to aim the pulser a little bit stronger uh it's going to get better penetration it's going to do a little bit more damage kills the animals a little bit faster for you so it saves you some time in the long run same thing with the reverse draw crossbow. A whole lot of penetration. You can drop water buffalo and bison with this thing like it's nothing. Good bows to have, but you're going to need a bow. All the other you know, firearms, muzzle loaders, you know, all, all that kind of stuff, you can buy them as you need them or as you want them. They're not necessary, but they do help. Uh, if you're on a budget and you're trying to just get one or two guns to really you know, get you through the game, 16 gauge by 9.3 by 74 R drilling combo rifle is expensive but with this one gun you can literally shoot every animal in the game and you have your shotgun you can level up the skill on the rifle really easy with by using the shotgun on geese or ducks which will help with the rifle and the stability in the aim if you have questions as to what level your rifle is this is where you find that out. The higher the level, the more stable your gun is when you just hold it straight out in front of you, making difficult shots <coughs> and not holding your breath. <coughs> so you want to level up your rifle, but it's something that you kind of just do as you play. It's not something you just sit down and work on. And same with your tracking skills. It just levels up as you play. It's, there's no real way to farm it. It just takes a really, really long time to do. So there's no reason to focus on say this weekend I'm just going to level up my rifle skill this there's no point in it but that's the that's the main thing is do your missions once you get everything done that you can afford to do or you can get done very quickly come here buy the reset start over 
just keep buying it and buying it you know resetting your missions doing the easy ones over and over again you'll make killer money and get everything that you need in the game very very quickly very easily so hopefully this helps everybody um, if you have any questions like I said just let me know I'm more than happy to help out anybody in the game I'm usually always have a server up and running so you know just let me know if you guys need any help or if you have any more questions and I hope you enjoyed